All right, so that was phase two. Very simple. Now it's gonna get. Now it's gonna start getting fun because now at phase three, we're gonna deploy our our first job. And just before I get into that, I just wanted to uh, to thank um, Hugh, uh, Jano, and Taludker for for the following. That's really helpful for the channel. So thank you very much for that. And all right, so to deploy applications to Nomad, we're gonna use the HashiCorp configuration language. And with that, we're gonna be defining jobs, task groups, and tasks, among, the, among other, other things. So the first thing we're gonna do is to create a file called frontend.nomad. So let's go back to AWS. And here we have two basic options. We can either touch the file and create it like that. So .nomad, let me just correct this, .nomad. And we can see the file right here on the left, or if you prefer, no, or if you don't want to use the terminal, you can just right click and then you can create a, a new file. Before I start coding anything, I'm just going to quickly change a configuration here, Cloud9, because I, I use it Visual Studio and I, I'm used to having auto save enabled and I always forget to save. So let me go to experimental and then auto save files, click on off and after delay. So after uh, a second or so, my file is gonna be saved automatically and I don't have to, to worry about it. So let me open frontend.nomad. I opened the wrong file here. Yep, there you go. And let's see, let's see the requirements for building this. So first we need to define a job and give it a name to this job. So let's do that. So that's how we define a job in Nomad. So job, and then I'm gonna give it a name. So I'm gonna call it front end. And you know what? There is one more thing that I'm gonna change, which is the syntax. Cause right now this is like text. So it won't show me any, there's no syntax highlighter or anything like that. So let me just change that. So we go to syntax and then down here, Terraform. So you choose Terraform. And then it, this is gonna, yeah, now it's gonna be much better to code. So job front end, so that's the first thing. Then the second thing is, so we do not need a region, right? Cause Nomad, you can work with, uh, with different regions. And for the data center, so region I'm not gonna define, but now for the data center, so we can define data centers for, for node. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the status of the node Nomad node status, and we're gonna see which data center the node belongs to. So that's gonna be under the DC column. So if I do nomad node status, we can see that this node belongs to data center DC1. So if I want this job to be, to be deployed to the data center DC1, what I need to do here is I'm gonna write data centers. And this is an array, so we, I can specify multiple data centers, but because I want to run in DC1, so I'm going to specify DC1 here. So we've got DC1. And let's go back and check the rest. So the type should be service. So service in Nomad is basically a long lived process, which is what I want to, um, what I want my front end to be, right? So I want my front end to be running and never go down. So it's not, it's not going to be like a batch process that is going to come up, execute something and go down. And also in Nomad, there is another type, which is called system. And system is one to, when you want to deploy an application to all the nodes in the cluster. Right now, I just want to deploy a single copy of my front end and I want this to be up and running. So I'm just going to call the type service. So I'm going to go back here and then I'm going to define type is equal to service. Then after that, we need to define a group. So the group I'm also going to call front end. We could have called something else, but just to make things easier for us, I'm also going to call front end. And I'm going to go a little bit quicker because I don't want to run. Every, I don't want to read everything in the challenge. Um, so I'll, I'll go a little bit quicker, but you feel free to, to, um, you know, to follow everything that I'm doing here with the challenge on GitHub. Now the front end is going to be, like I said, a single copy. So there is a command called count. If you're, if you're familiar with Terraform, you're probably going to know the count. So the count with Terraform defines how many resources you want to deploy. And so here, what I'm saying is that I want to deploy a single, a single front end, a single application or a single copy. Then after that, we have the actual task and the task. I'm also going to call front end. Why not front end? 
And inside the task is where we define the driver. So if I want my front end application to be, let's say a Docker container, that means I need to use the Docker driver. If I want, the, if, if this is a Java application, then the driver is gonna be Java. If it's a binary, it's gonna be exec or raw exec. We're gonna use exec a little bit later with console, but for, for the front end, we're gonna go with the driver Docker. So I wanna run this in a Docker container. Now for the Docker container, you can configure a couple of things. Right now, the only thing we're interested in is the image. So what's the what's gonna be the image of my front end? So for that, there is a stanza called config, which is a block. And the name of the, the property is image. And the name of the image for this case is gonna be the dojo series. So that's my Docker Hub username. And then the name of the image is front end. That's the latest version. Okay, let me go back and make sure I didn't miss anything. So this is how it should look like at this point. So we have the data center, the type service, the group, and then later on we define the driver and the image. All right, so I think now we're ready to, to plan and to run this. So let's go back and make sure that the file is saved. And if I do an LS, I should see my file here. So frontend.nomad on the left. And the, the cool thing about, about Nomad, if you're, again, if you're familiar with Terraform, is that you're able to plan what's gonna happen before you actually execute. So to do that, you can do Nomad plan and then specify the file. So frontend.nomad. And let's just wait for this. And here you can see that it looks fine. So all the tasks would be successfully allocated in my cluster. And to run this, you have two options. You can either copy this command here, which is nomad job run. There is a check index. So this is, if, if again, if you're familiar with Terraform, every, every time you plan something, you can put that plan into an output or into a file, and then you can run that file because then you make sure that any changes that were introduced after you plan, it's not, it's not actually gonna be run. Yeah, and I know that this is this might not be the case. I mean, sometimes it's hard for this to happen, but it can happen. So, for example, if you made a commit and then you you, you run your CI CD pipeline and your CI CD pipeline grabs your code, plans everything, and the plan let's say the plan takes a little bit, and then someone else goes she makes makes a change very quickly, pushes again to the repo, and then in the next phase, which is the apply, you pull again from the repo you're gonna be pulling the, the changes that someone else introduced, but it's not the changes that you actually plan in the first place. So that means you're gonna be deploying something that you actually didn't plan. So that's why it, it's good for you to plan something and put that into an output file, and then you apply that output file. And here is the same thing. But because I'm, I'm, I'm working on my own, I know that no one's introducing any changes, I'm just gonna uh, do a nomad run without the, the check index. We can use the check index if you want frontend.nomad and all right so now we can see that the, the status or evaluation status changed from penny to complete okay so never mind don't, don't worry too much about that let's go back and see what's the what's the definition of done so definition of done is if i run nomad status and then the job name we should see running so let's go back and do that so nomad status. So this is to see the status of your, your job. Actually it's nomad status and then the job. And be careful here, if you do, let me just go back. So if you do frontend.nomad, which is your file, you're gonna get an error because your your job is not called nomad.nomad, frontend.nomad, that's your file. Your job is called frontend. So in this case, I would have to do nomad status frontend and we can see that it is running. It, it was created 54 seconds ago. And so everything's fine. And also one more thing here I wanted to add is you, you've seen me doing nomad plan, nomad run, nomad status, but you actually can put job in front of it. So like jo nom nomad job status for an end, that should output the same result. And the same thing for plan and, and run.